Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing in the Dino Weekly Media Journal, of course together with Robert and Stamps and I hope you enjoy the video and if you like my channel and if you like watching our channeling tutorials then please click the subscribe button and the little notification bell. I have primed the page with gesso and I go in with some jelly prints printed on sandwich paper and I adhere it with gel medium. Here I'm adding some leftover scrap paper that I used to clean my brush and put leftover paint on. I have so many washi tapes in my stash that I decided to put something of it on this art journal page. To blend in the background a little, I'm adding gesso with a palette knife. I'm going in with some stamping now to create texture. I want to create a really grungy page and so I'm using a lot of different stamps. Some of them are from the Doodle Borders from Rubber Dance and I'm also using the music sheet. If you're interested in watching a video for the right journal page you see on the screen, then check out the info box. I have linked up the video. I now go in with some more paint and I have no idea which colors I was using. I believe it must be the Arteza watercolors, but I am not sure at the moment. 
But these are any watercolors. This is not acrylic paint. This must be, I, I believe this must be watercolors. And so I think this must be the Arteza ones because I like to use them in my mixed media artwork. They are not so good to watercolor. I'm adding some scribble lines and marks with the Faber-Castell watercolor pencil. It's a big one and it's called Magnus. So maybe if you're searching for such a pencil, search for this name and it's from Faber-Castell. I have other watercolor pencils, but none of them works as good as this one does. I dip the nib into water to get a deep dark line. Now I'm gluing down my textured flowers. I've colored them in with watercolor pencils or intense pencils. I don't know at the moment. And I'm covering up the B I had on the page because I didn't like it that much. I'm adding some words. These were stamped with the Mixed Sentiment stamp onto a piece of pattern paper. And I cut out the words and glue them down. I also add some of the leaves from the textured flower stamp set to my flowers to finish up the page. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope we see us next time. Bye!